Could be a bumpy start to the week, especially the further east you go in the Q2 viewing area. That's where we have a chance of marginal to slight risk of severe weather. What this means is uh, this afternoon from, we'll say, 2 p.m. until about 11 p.m., moving west to east, give or take an hour on those times. We're looking at strong gusty winds over 60 miles an hour, especially in the yellow shaded area where we could see larger than a quarter size hail. We could have uh, frequent lightning and periods of heavy rainfall. Now I do have to mention this. It's, it's not a zero risk. It's not a big risk, I think, for us, but it's not a zero risk. So I have to mention the yellow uh, shaded areas there, there is a, a chance where we could see some tornado activity. That's not what we're looking at as the main threat today. I think some large hail and some strong winds, the main concerns, but that's not completely off the table. So we definitely want to stay weather aware. Those areas not shaded, including Billings, we still have a chance to see some strong storms today because of that area of low pressure off to our northwest that's sucking all that moisture in from the Pacific combined with Cape potential energy, giving us a chance of those strong to severe thunderstorms today. Tomorrow we will be cooling down. Still a chance we could see some rain. Uh, Wednesday, slight chance we could see some uh, thunderstorms come back into play. High pressure briefly takes over on Thursday, I think, to give us a bit of a break. And then we start to see maybe that wicked weather start to come back in Friday, Saturday. Uh, still early to too early to tell, but Friday, Saturday, we may see some severe or even strong storms. We'll have to keep an eye on that.